Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zaki bin Masud and I'll be the instructor for this part 3 of topic 2. This topic will discuss to you about what is the algorithm that is being used in the cryptography. Method used in a cryptography algorithm are substitution and transposition. Uh, substitution can be either monoalphabetic or fully alphabetic substitution. Okay. A monoalphabetic substitution is formed by shifting the letters of the original alphabet, while the fully alphabetic will be using a table called as a Virginia table to substitute the alphabets. The next uh, method is by using the transposition, which is divided into unkeyed transposition and the keyed transposition. Next, I'm going to discuss to you about the cryptography method using the substitution. Monoalphabetic substitution can be divided into a Caesar cipher and also the Virginia cipher. The Caesar cipher is one of the earliest substitution cipher described by the Julius Caesar in the Gallic Wars. The encryption key and the decryption key are both determined by a shift, but the encryption and decryption rules are different. Caesar cipher are vulnerable to exhaustive key search attack to work through all the 26 keys. An example of a Caesar cipher is actually if we, we are using uh, the alphabet of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, and so on, you will represent the alphabet A with the next alphabet, which is B. And then the alphabet B will be replaced by using C and D with E, and so on. For example, if, it's, if you are sending a word of secret, you will represent it rather than S-E-C-R-E-T, you're going to represent it as T-F-D-S-F-U. Okay? This is why uh, we call it uh, the Caesar cipher will have the exhaustive uh, problem. In a single key search, may not identify the key uniquely. It is much more likely merely to limit the number of possibility by eliminating something obviously wrong once. An exhaustive search for the encryption key for cryptogram HSPPW can yield two possibilities that lead to a complete English word for the assumed message, which is if you're using the shift of four, then it's going to give you dolls and you shift it to 11 place, then it's going to be wheels. When this happens, we need more information, possibly the contact of the message or some extra cipher text before we can determine the key uniquely. Okay, the next substitution cipher is what we call as a Virginia cipher. The Virginia cipher, the best known of the manual apolabetic cipher, use a Virginia square to perform an encryption. If you look at the table, you can see that the left-hand left key column of this square contains the English alphabet for each letter, and the row determined by that letter contains a rotation of the alphabet with that letter as the leading character. Okay, the first uh, substitution method, which is the Caesar cipher, is easy uh, to decrypt by using uh, Frequency analysis, which is already being uh, found uh, by Al Kindi manuscript on deciphering cryptography message containing the oldest known encryption cryptanalysis by the frequency analysis. Uh, in this method, what we do is that we look at all the alphabet and try to, to find the frequency of occurrence of each letter. For example, if you are using an English manuscript, then the most alphabet that is going to be used is R S T L N E. So from that, you can actually map each alphabet with the right substitution. The breaking Virginia cipher uh, is actually it take a longer time to be decrypted. It was secure from about 50, five, uh, 1553 till 1854, which is 1854 Charles Savage developed a test that said it to attack to this cipher. In 1863, Frederick Kavisky was the first to publish a successful attack on the Virginia cipher. The primary weakness of the Virginia cipher is the repeating nature of its key. The next types of cryptography method is by using transposition. Okay, in the transposition, a letter is rearranged and letters are retained but moved from its position. There is a two types of transposition uh, cryptography, which is unkeyed single transposition and the keyed single transposition. Well, guys, uh, that is the last slide of this session. Hope this session has given you some new knowledge. See you next time. Assalamualaikum.